Outrocast. Oh, that's really light. Poucher box. Don't know if it's a vinyl record or a coffee table book that's on the smaller side. Best to find out. Record. And this is Booby Night and the, the Universal, Universal Lady. Lady. 50th anniversary press in, first ever vinyl reissue. Okay, so I see that label right there. ORG Music, they have been very generous to us in giving us a record store day titles. But if we go back to the sticker for a second, uh -huh. on the other side you see the song The Love Maniacs is sampled by mm -hmm. NWA, Outcast, oh, yeah. 50 Cent, Public Enemy, and, and more. more. So we got Flaming Youth, Ain't Nobody Better Than You, Earth Creature, Feeling My Cheerios, what? Burn the Saturday Night Fever? I'm not familiar with these songs, we're gonna have to listen to this. And then you can also see that the band was ahead of their time in being an integrated band. Oh, Probably yeah. one of the first alongside Sly and the Family Stone. So we've got homework to do. Booby Night and the Universal Lady. So it was originally released in 1974. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Org Music. Yeah, they do a lot of stuff with members of the Chili Peppers. God snap them. Five, Five hour, hour energy. energy. So. It's like for if you're running. Oh, fanny pack. So you can hold all your five hour energies and look at that. Oh my goodness, is this is this so you can go all day long? I guess. Five, so. 10, 15, 20, 24. Yeah. There's a day. I think you can go two to 48 hours straight with this. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. This is a two day fanny pack for five hour energy. I wonder what else fits in there though. I don't know. Two days worth of five hour energy. Does it expand, for example, that your cell phone? No. Fit? No, it's just those little five hour energy bottles. Okay. Very specific. <laughs> Very specific. Just for five hour energy. Well, thank you for the, the stunt pack. prop. Yes. Five hour energy. That is fun. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. What do we got? Do a couple more small ones because these aren't okay. big boxes. There's paper in here. I'm gonna give that to you. Yeah. Oops. Okay. There you go. All right. What is this? Oh, Melissa is gonna like these. Oh my goodness. Are these all horror movies? These are horror movies from pre pre production. Yeah, they're advanced promo copies from MBD Entertainment Group. Oh my goodness. So Trick like or treat. There's Hellraiser. Hellraiser. Hellraiser 2. Yes. Hellraiser, Hellraiser 3. 3. And Hellraiser Bloodline. Oh my goodness. So why do they say creation date? Like July? Oh, that's the date they, they pressed them. So oh. if we just like uh, show this page right here, it shows all the bonus features. We obviously have it without ARC. But if you buy it, it's really the most comprehensive thing because you see bonus scenes, oh, wow. interviews, commentary, trailers. So it's this really is a Monster Mash are. comic book. There's a trailer, a reversible sleeve, six postcard size art cards. Oh, so this is what it really looks like. Yeah. And like the, in the fancy set. Check that out. HDR, the Quartet of Torment. Yeah, 4K restorations and a limited edition set. Wow, all sorts of bonus material. Well, I don't need the fancy packaging. I'm just excited to get to go back and rewatch all of these with all the extra added bonus material. Suggested retail price on Quartet of Torment is $49.95. Looks like it came out October 29th. It has the 5.1 surround sound option on it. Awesome, so this is on MBD Music Video Distributors Entertainment. Okay, Arrow Films. MBD awesome. Arrow yeah. Films. Uh, this is probably a book. 
Darren used to say everything was sheet music. I used to. She doesn't do that anymore. Days. The turn of the screwdriver. 50 dark and twisted literary cocktails inspired by Anne Rice, Mary Shelley, and Edgar Allan Poe. Gothic authors. Great oh, wow. layout and colors right there. Yeah. Explains the book. Very cool. Photo of the drink. So they're like gothic inspired cocktail book. And it comes with a little story. Also, that's so much fun for Halloween or just October in general. And some that look very basic or easy to make. Yeah, well, it's it's all written out very very simple to follow. Mm -hmm. I love that there's a little story with each one. There's a list of all the drinks, the mm -hmm. classics, modern, and a little intro. That is a really fun book. This is on Ulysses Press for 1995. The Portrait of Dorian Gray Goose. <laughs> <laughs> I get the pun there. That's Legend awesome. Of Slushy Hello. Yeah. All right. So and The Turn of the Screwdriver by Iphigenia Jones. Yeah. Did I say that right? I think yeah? so. That's awesome. We will definitely be making drinks from this. Uh, same style envelope, same day. So I'm guessing it's also going to be Ulysses Press. Huh. There's a piece of paper for you. And, oh, I'm stuck. You're stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. Ooh, 30 breads to bake before you die. The world's best sourdough, croissants, focaccia, bagels, pita. Um, and these have recipes from Dominique Ansel, Duff Goldman, Deb Perlman. Wow. Very nice. Hala, I see right there. Yeah. It also looks like nicely laid out. I love the photos. Easy to follow. Different steps. Mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe we'll make some bagels. And mozzarella stuffed bread, yes. Wow. That looks awesome. We're going to make this one for sure. Oh, the different flats. Some pizza crust. We'll make some homey pizza. Cool. I love the photos also. This is also on Ulysses Press, $24.95. Um, oh, the croissants are from Dominique and Sal. This one is also going to be fun. We're trying this out for sure. Thank you. Got time for one more? Yes. Probably a book. I'm not kidding. <gasps> Broad Sterling at 100. Oh my goodness. One Writer's Acknowledgement by Joseph Doherty. He's an Emmy-winning Emmy writer. This is on Fayetteville Mafia Press, hmm. 1999. Um, but the author has written for 30-something, Judging Amy. Yeah, Pretty Little, Little Liars. Liars. Yeah. Awesome. I was a character from the Twilight Zone for this past Halloween. This book is coming out... When does it say? November 19th, so that's in so two really, weeks or so. Yep. It says, Sterling was born on Christmas Day, 1924, so hence the 100 years. Oh, he died in Rochester. I didn't know that. Oh, born in Syracuse on Christmas Day, hmm. 1924. Oh, so yeah, we've been 100. Got it. And uh, the writer, it says, is an Emmy-nominated writer. Yes, it's Very rare for an author. 250 pages. I will definitely be reading this. Love Twilight Zone, Rod Serling. He was a genius. Um, excited for this, for sure. So recap time? Yes. So a book about Rod Serling. Uh -huh. We got Breads. From Ulysses Press. Turn of the Screwdriver. Some horror from yes. Arrow Films and NBD. Got the whole Hellraiser collection and Trigger Treat. Five Hour Energy, the Fanny Pack, uh -huh. and then from ORG Music, uh, Booby Night, a record that has been sampled by a lot of uh, pioneering artists. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.
Outrocast. <laughs>